Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about image renditions. As you might have seen in my previous demos, I've gone in and enabled the site collection feature, publishing infrastructure, which is site collection features. There we go. At the very bottom, I've enabled that. SharePoint Server Publishing Infrastructure. And then I've also on this site, I've also enabled the SharePoint Server Publishing features. That's the one. And when I did that, I got new libraries in my site. I got the images library, and I also got the pages library. As you see, those two are new. I also got some other ones, reusable content and site collection images, site collection documents, and or some other a workflow tasks is also created by that one, and the content and structure report. So all those got created. So enabling those features does clutter up your site contents a bit. You have to be aware of that. Anyhow, now I'm going to talk about image renditions, which is a cool feature that you get when you enable these things. So I'll just go to my home page and edit the page. And then I'm going to insert an image just as you normally would from the computer. And as you see, I get now the option of moving it into any of my document libraries there. So the site assets is, is usually the default one. But when I've enabled the SharePoint Server Publishing, then I get the images too, and that's the default one now. So I'm going to browse to that and then add this banner picture of myself to that page. You've probably seen that done before. You've probably done it before also. Here you see that this library has some metadata fields enabled that you need to fill out, or actually that you can fill out if you want to. The name is uh, mandatory, but otherwise they're just optional. So I'm going to save that, and now you get the picture. But the difference between what you've done before with images is this thing, the pick rendition. Here you have a couple of different renditions now of the file. And as you see, this is happening on the server side, or this has happened on the server side, these different renditions. Now, this is not changing how the image looks on the page. This is just actually different renditions of the same. So it's it's creating different JPEGs or at least picture files of this um, file that I uploaded. So that's rather powerful. You just select the image, go in under image and pick the rendition that you want to show. So maybe this one is good. And then you just save. So what SharePoint is doing in the background when I upload a picture is create multiple renditions of that. You can also control those renditions by going into site settings here and finding the image renditions. Here I can create a new image rendition. Let's just do a mini picture like that. And let's just do a 25 by 25, That's very, very small. And uh, now I will go back to my page, edit. And now when I select that image again, I'm gonna pick the rendition, here's my mini picture. And there's my 25 by 25. So if you have a few standard sizes that you can work with, that might be useful for you. Another thing that you can do is edit the renditions of this picture. So let's see, if it's gonna be that small, I want it to zoom in instead of, actually, uh, you see this picture here has zoomed in a bit. So I can just click to change that. When you do, you are able to select how you want that 25, 25 to be, 25 by 25 to be rendered. So that's the square I want. I can remove the tie and the, and the vest and everything if I do that. So now save that. And there's, you see there's the zoomed in picture without the tie and the vest. Let's just do the mini picture. And that's gonna update in a little while. So that concludes my demo on image renditions. Thank you for watching.